Now we'll come to the next question, question number five and six. That is again your previous year CAT paper. Good question. Here uh, again it is given mileage uh, kilometer uh, per liter and here a speed kilometer per hour. Both are inversely proportional. If speed as per this question it is given. Like your speed is 30, then you are you are giving your uh, vehicle is giving mileage 16. If your speed has increased 40, then mileage is 24. And again 50, then again 16. Means you can say both of the relation has given. Direct proportional and inverse proportional both has given. One time here from 30 to 40, what is happening? If you are increasing the speed, your mileage is increasing. But 40 to 50, if you are increasing the speed, mileage is decreasing. Here it is directly proportional. Here it is inversely proportional. You can write like this. Correct. Now it is easy to understand. Now whatever a story has given just we have to read because we have to take the data based on that only. Rajiv reaches city B. Uh, from city A in 4 hours, driving at the speed of 35 km per hour for the first 2 hours and 45 km for the next 2 hours. This simple thing is total distance we can calculate very easily. 35 into 2 plus 45 into 2, it will be 160 km. Aditi follows the same route. Route is same means distance is constant. Route is same means distance is constant. Maybe a speed will vary but route same anywhere it is written means distance is constant. Aditi follows the same route but drives at the three different speed 30, 40 and 50. Covering an equal distance in each speed segment. C is going with equal equal distance like whatever speed here total distance is 160. Then C has divided this speed this total distance in three segment 160 by 3, 160 by 3 and 160 by 3. Every segment C is going, this is 30 km per hour, this is 40 km per hour, this is 50 km per hour. This question is telling. If the two cars are in similar with petrol consumption, if consumption of petrol are same like km per liter, km per liter that is giving your mileage means in one, one liter how many km will go that will give you the mileage. So in the figure below like here then uh, based on this data, data is distance total what we got here distance total 160 distance is constant for Rajiv and Aditi Rajiv and Aditi going by same route means same distance they will they will uh, cover Rajiv is going 2 hours with 35 km per hour and next 2 hours 45 km per hour Aditi is going whatever distance is there she has divided in 3 equal part and each speed each distance part is going with the speed of 30 40 and 50 respectively then just we'll read the questions the quantity of petrol consumed by Aditi for the journey now for Aditi, Aditi is 160 km by 3 with a speed 30, 40 and 50. Okay. Petrol total consumed that will be fixed that is total distance divided by mileage that will be your petrol consumed. But here issue is there total distance we know but mileage is not fixed because C is going with different different speed. C is going with 30, C is going with 40, C is going with 50. Then for every speed the C will get the different mileage. Mileage is here 16, 24 and 60. Then one of the part like 160 by 3, one thing we can say like 160 by 3 divided by mileage that will give you give you the petrol consumption. Like one part 160 by 3, it is divided by a speed 30 km per uh, 30 km per hour that will give you the petrol consumption during the uh, speed during the distance covered. 160 by 3. Again, same thing we will follow 160 by 3 divided by 40, 163, 160 by 3 divided by 50. All things will just here, like here 160, 160 by 3, 1 by 16 plus 1 by 24 plus 1 by 16. This is your, this is your, my, it is already given. Here it is mileage, 1 by 16, correct? This is 1 by 24, this is 1 by 16. Just we have to divide distance by mileage. This is your distance. Individually, if you will divide, 160 by 3 divided by 16, 160 by 3 divided by 24, 160 by 3 divided by 16. If you just take common, it will become 1 by 16. You just to take the LCM, LCM will become 48, it will become 8 by 48. Just to solve by simple method, 160 by 18, it will be around 9 kilometer. Why we can say it is around 9 kilometer? Because 180 will be one, if it will be 180, it will be exactly 10. 180 minus 18, 162, it will be exactly 9. It is little less than 162, means it will be around 90. Around 9, around 9, whatever choice is there, only one choice we have, 8.9. Then directly we can mark 8.9. Or if you want to convert like this, all technique already we know through Vedic math, 2 is less, 160, 2, and exactly you have to bring 160. How much less? 2. 2 will be approximately 1.8 1.8 is approximately equal to 10 percent 10 percent means it will be 0.1 will be reduced in 9 it will become 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9 8.9
एक्जेक्टली ऑल्सो यू कैन जस्ट कैल